and welcome back to Cuckoo for Books. My name is Salva and today we are doing a book review on the return of the Mediator series by Meg Cabot. <laughs> I've been very excited for these books and I've been really excited to read them. I read it, and now we can talk about it, and I'm really, really excited, and let's talk about it. Okay, let's talk about it. I did the first six books of this series as my recommendations last week. If you don't know, the Mediator series by Meg Cabot was released like 15 years ago. It was six books in the series decades later. She came out with a novella proposal and a full-length novel, Remembrance. I am tickled happy. Quick warning, this review is a walking, talking spoiler for the first six novels because this isn't a reboot of the story, it's a continuation. So you will get spoiled in the first six books. Definitely read them. Six books sounds like a lot, but put together, they're shorter than one Game of Thrones novel. They're probably even shorter than one Harry Potter novel. They're probably shorter than one Twilight novel. So go ahead and read them. The story takes place about six years after the events of the sixth book. Picks up from where now they're all careering and not high schooling. And they're like, what do I do with my future? And when do we get married, Jesse? I love the seventh book and the novella. It lived up to my expectations. It's so hard to return to a series after so many years. And your fear is that you won't love the characters the same or the author won't treat their characters characters the same and sort of change like you are not the character I fell in love with why are you so different I'm happy to say that after reading the new releases of the mediator series each character was still very much the same they embodied the same characteristics they felt like the characters that I grew up knowing and loving so that was I think one of the great pluses of this novel was that it didn't lose its voice and its heart the only worry I had going into the series do I savor this like it's the last mediator novel ever is this like a goodbye to the series or is it a reboot of the series I didn't know and so for the first few chapters and the entirety of the novella I was very hesitant in getting into it because I was like do I savor each word like it's the last of Suze and Jesse that we see the way it was written will definitely make it sound like the door is open it's not a proper goodbye yet especially because all these other plot lines were introduced and kind of put to rest but you could kick them right open if you wanted to I was really afraid that this book was going to be all about the Jesse Paul thing. So glad that Meg Cabot inserted a little Ghost of the Week plot line, and it was quite the interesting plot line, not to give anything away. The mystery in this book, the ghost mystery, it was very much like a favorite TV show of mine. It was very fun. It wasn't half-assed. The story was very engaging. We got to see Suze in classic mediator fashion. It was so great to see all these characters come back to life. The reveal that Sleepy was a stoner this whole freaking an entire time throughout high school and that's why he was always sleepy just made me laugh out loud like I was reading it alone in my bedroom and I just burst into laughter. It was great to see all these characters again. Father Dom, my biggest fear was that they would start with Father Dom is dead because he was quite old in the first six books. The idea that he was still back and on Facebook no less just picturing Father Dom on Facebook like liking all his ex-students pictures is just too adorable and I oh I'm so glad he's still alive. I love seeing Suze as an aunt. Aunt Suze, you're not allowed to curse. Shut up or I'm gonna give you sugar. I kind of love Dopey now. He's such an adorable dad. As you can see, I've been tiptoeing around the topic of my favorite. Hashtag hot moo moo. Hashtag doctor Jesse De Silva. I loved seeing him interact with the technology. I'm not too tickled about the fact that Paul was in the book and I thought that they made up. Why is he back? Why does he need to be back? I thought they'd settled their differences at the end of the sixth book. And then the whole thing comes out about graduation night and then it sort of connects. Speaking of twists, we, we shall now go on to the spoiler section of this video because there are a lot I want to talk about. All aboard the spoiler train for Remembrance. Choo choo! The triplets of Dopey are the most adorable little people I know. They're just so cute and I love picturing them wreaking havoc on the Mission Academy just like Suze did when she was in high school. The revelation that they were actually Paul Slater's daughters just blew my friggin' mind. Why is Paul even in the story? And then it was like, oh, to make these 
three little munchkins mediators. One of my least favorite plot lines is, I can't wait for our wedding three months away. I love you so much, let's get married this weekend in the hospital room. I hate that because it's like, you put down the money for the caterer and the church and the dress and plans plans are there for a reason, people. But for some reason, this one, it just made so much sense to me and I loved it so much and I loved the way they did it. I wish we got to see into the actual ceremony where, you know, they trade vows and all that. Although we don't really need assurance that Jesse and Suze love each other. How they got married, how they waited for Father Dom to marry them, and then the reception at their old house. Very well done and I didn't feel like I was lacking in fluff. It was so apt that they ended up buying the house that they, like they said, fell in love in and how that's how they're gonna start their life and start a little mediator academy and clinic and <gasps> that's what I'm saying, Meg Cabot, keep making more mediator novels. And that about does it for my review on Proposal and Remembrance, the new mediator novels by Meg Cabot. You can join me on my other bookish adventures on Twitter and Instagram, both at Cuckoo for Books. Please subscribe. I will see you guys next Sunday or sooner for my next video. Bye guys.